good day friends it is me hl mod tech and i am back with another awesome project so let's get cracking friends we're on my website hlmodtech.com and of course i've got a tinkercad tab with tons of amazing categories don't forget the day one favorites useful starters and some tinkercad essentials now friends today i'm here to talk to you about code blocks if you click on this category these are my favorite five code blocks lessons and then down below you can find some other really fun ones you can also find my full playlist of code blocks projects so friends if you have never seen this before this is a code blocks project this is my lighthouse tutorial which i absolutely love this is how you start you create an object i'm going to create a tower and then a top right now i've bumped up the speed and then once you've got all your code made if you hit play it builds check it out there is a fantastic lighthouse and i even made the light spin fun fast and full of coding skills now we do have a problem though the create object and the create variable is not where it was in the tutorial tinkercad has changed the way it works so these are now hidden friends i'll show you how to find them bingo click legacy there's your create new object also the variable used to be in math notice this variable is green now variables are light blue you can still create your variable with this button but i've been seeing notes that those are hard to find so friends it's right there white button create variable knowing those two pieces of information all of my projects will work just like expected now friends, let me show you the way we are supposed to code these days. I'm gonna go back to my Tinkercad desktop. So friends, let me show you the new way to build with code blocks. I'm gonna go to my latest tutorial. It is a simple table. Once again, you can find this full tutorial. I'll make sure it's up here. And it teaches you that the new way to make parts is with templates. I made a template for a leg and a template for a top. And then when you start building, you just create from templates. So I added one top and then I added four legs. Each of those parts need to be moved and that's all explained in the tutorial. And then I always add these words to let you know that there's a tutorial included. So friends, the beauty of this new system is we don't have to delete the parts when we're finished. Templates don't actually show up on the screen until you use them. It's really slick and it actually makes your code a little more efficient. Right now I'm going to speed this up and watch this table come to life. I did spin it funny so I'm going to turn it so you can see it happen. Bing, bing, bing. And tutorial included. A simple table using the new technique of working with code blocks. Really quickly I want to highlight one more project. Check this out. This is the radial gradient. As usual, there is a tutorial that teaches you how to build it. In the tutorial, you'll learn how to build this awesome chunk of math right here. Set up some variables. Don't forget they're on this button. And then this makes what's called the radial gradient where you can change the colors. When I hit play, you can see that it is doing the colors of the rainbow and then this can be exported and you can make really cool designs by using what we call an inverse hole. I can easily move to the variable and change my gradient to three instead of all the colors. Are you ready for this? Bingo. It does shades of the color you're fiddling with. How cool is that? Once again, tutorial will be in the corner. Friends, don't forget if you want those legacy parts, they are right here. And then also if you're looking for variables, don't forget it's the create variable button right here. Friends, another quick note on the website. Underneath the essentials is the HL Mod Tech profile. This takes you to all of my designs sorted by recent. You can also switch to circuits and check out all of those and finally code blocks. Of course, when you click them, if you check in the properties, you'll be able to find a link that you can copy and paste to get to the tutorial. And of course, those reactions are always appreciated. Finally, if you switch to sorting by likes, you'll be able to quickly check out all the amazing projects that we've created with code blocks. And of course, friends, do not forget the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to remind you about the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we have got a ton of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. 
finally friends if you enjoyed the video please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about hl mod tech don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day